In Nevada's Mojave Desert, the small town of Las Vegas is dreaming big. The Last Frontier and El Rancho are the first resorts to line the now famous strip, but it's the flamingo that comes to define Las Vegas as a mecca for forbidden pleasures. What's up guys, welcome back to Show Me Vegas and welcome to another walkthrough video, this time at the fabulous Flamingo. The Flamingo is the oldest hotel on the Las Vegas Strip and as always, we're gonna use this map to show you around. Also as usual, we're gonna start at the main valet, which in this case is one level below Las Vegas Boulevard on the south side of the hotel. Now we'll discuss the Flamingo's history as we go along, but it did first open on December 26, 1946. As we get inside the front doors here, you'll see the bell desk over on this side. That's where you'll pick up your bags from the bell desk, not where you'll drop them off though, that's outside. Now this hotel has changed hands numerous times over the years, but today it's run by Caesars Entertainment and has been since 1998. All right, arriving on the main floor here, this is the lobby. Over here to the left is registration, but we'll see that as we come around later in the tour. But for now, we're gonna stick to the outside like we always do and circle this property from the outside and then go through the middle later. Hey, if you wanna see the Flamingo's rooms, check out this video. I put a link in the description below. It was an interesting experience to say the least. Let's just say it was not a good one, but I don't know how typical that is here because a lot of people do love this hotel. All right, we're headed east now from the main lobby on what's known as the Flamingo Promenade. This is mostly a shopping district, but it does take you to three important points. Number one, down here on the left, you'll find one of the Flamingo's pool entrances. At the very end, you're gonna find another valet area where you'll find rideshare and taxi pickup. And on the right, you'll find the elevators for the spa tower, as well as the Flamingo's spa and gym. All right, now let's zip back out to the main lobby and hit the casino floor. Back where we turned around was the Flamingo's main gift shop, and on the right is the Promenade Wine and Spirits shop. You can see on the map here, we're in the heart of the main floor and headed into the casino. Immediately on the right, the first thing we come across is the Caesar Sportsbook. The Sportsbook here at the Flamingo is not huge. It does have nice, comfortable seating. Not one of the best in town, but certainly not one of the worst. Passing the Sportsbook, we come across Carlos and Charlie's Tacos and Margaritas, exactly as it sounds, a Mexican restaurant right on the casino floor. Coming around the far side of the restaurant, we find one of the entrances to the habitat at the Flamingo, as well as the other pool entrance. This entrance is closer to the garden pool, whereas that other entrance we saw earlier is closer to the go pool. Heading back toward the casino floor, you'll find the garden bar on the right. This is a great place to stop and get a drink with beautiful natural light coming in from the habitat. Looking north from here, this hallway takes you to the Link Promenade. We'll go down this hallway later, but for now we're gonna stick to the casino floor. Right here on this corner, you're gonna find the Flamingo's nicest restaurant. It's Bugsy and Meyer's Steakhouse, named after famed mobsters Bugsy Siegel and Meyer Lansky. In case you're wondering, this steakhouse is very good. We ate there about a year and a half ago and had a great time. A beautiful dining room, a great menu. And if you wanna find out more about that experience, check out this video linked in the description below.
All right, continuing on through the casino, we're headed toward the strip now. The sign on the right that says the count room is for the speakeasy, which is at the back of Bugsy and Meyer's Steakhouse. Just past that, you're gonna find the Flamingo's food court right here on the right. Not a huge food court by any means, but it does have burgers, pizza, Asian, and subs. Back out in the casino, headed toward the strip, you're gonna find all of the Flamingo's table games. Table games here usually run in the $15 range, although they can be higher on nights and weekends. Checking in with the map, you see where we are. We're right outside the Flamingo showroom. Now this showroom has hosted a lot of acts over the years, but currently the offerings are Piff the Magic Dragon and RuPaul's Drag Race Live. All right, we're now on the strip side of the casino and headed north into what used to be the Margaritaville Casino. This used to be a really fun place to gamble, but it was de-themed in 2018 and now it has almost no character whatsoever. It seems like almost every casino has at least one area like this anymore. I always say it's like gambling at the airport. All right, let's talk a little bit about the Flamingo's history. A lot of people mistakenly believe the Flamingo was Bugsy Siegel's idea because he owned it when it opened in 1946. But actually the Flamingo was conceived by a businessman from Los Angeles by the name of Billy Wilkerson. It was his idea to build a total destination resort on the Las Vegas Strip and he's actually the one who came up with the name. Now Bugsy Siegel entered the picture when Billy Wilkerson ran out of money. In late 1945, Siegel and his associates bought a two-thirds interest in the Flamingo from Wilkerson, and soon thereafter, Bugsy Siegel took over complete control of the construction of the resort. While I was talking, we passed by Bird Bar, which used to be known as the Five O'Clock Somewhere Bar in keeping with the Margaritaville theme. And although this is no longer a Margaritaville casino, you'll find right in front of us Margaritaville gift shop and restaurant. That does still exist here on property. And from what I understand, is actually a pretty good place to eat. On our way back to the casino, we'll stop and take another look at Bird Bar, a cool indoor outdoor space with pretty cheap drinks. All right, we're back to the corner of the casino floor, and on the right, you'll find Flamingo Wine and Spirits. Just past that on the right, you'll find the West Strip entrance. This leads directly out to Las Vegas Boulevard. Now, I mentioned that the hotel opened in 1946, but none of that original structure actually remains. The last remaining structure from the hotel's original construction was demolished in 1993. The existing hotel towers here at Flamingo were built between the late 70s and early 1990s. One fun fact about the Flamingo is that when it opened in 1946, it actually was losing money left and right. The casino was performing so poorly that Siegel decided to close the casino in February and actually kept it closed for about a month until the hotel rooms were ready. All right, now we're at the South Strip entrance, and if you've come into the Flamingo from the Strip before, this is probably where you entered. Right out those doors is the Cromwell, and on that corner is also the footbridge that crosses Las Vegas Boulevard to Caesars Palace. This is the southwest corner of the casino over here is where you're going to find most of the Flamingo's video poker machines. And as we head back east, we're headed now back toward the main lobby.
Up ahead and to the left of that sign that says Caesars Rewards is where you'll find the casino elevators. On our way back to the main lobby, you'll find on the left there a lobby bar. And up ahead on the right, you'll see that we're back to the main registration area here at the Flamingo. As you can see, the Flamingo, like all Caesars properties, has gone to these check-in kiosks. If you've watched other videos on the channel, you know I absolutely hate this process. I want to check in face to face with a human, but hey, that's Caesars in 2023. Directly across from registration is the Caesars rewards desk, and as you can see, we're now back out into the main lobby of the Flamingo. This time we're going to head back into the casino and we're going to stick to the inside of the casino and see what's in the middle. Before we drop back down into the casino again, you'll see on the left here is a box office. There you can buy tickets to any of the Flamingo's shows. Directly ahead here on the left is the Wayne Newton Theater. That's one of those shows that we saw in January of 2022 and actually had a great time. Mr. Las Vegas may be getting up in years, but he's still extremely talented and puts on a very entertaining performance. Right around the corner here behind X Bar is the X Burlesque Theater. That's an adults only Vegas style review. Coming around this corner, you'll find that we're back in the main table games area of the casino on the inside. On our left is the high limit room that features both high limit slots and table games. And just past that on the left, in the middle of the casino, you'll find the cashier. All right, we've covered pretty much the entire casino. Now let's jump back over to Bugsy and Myers and we'll head toward the Link Promenade. On the left, you can see just how big Bugsy and Meyer's Steakhouse is. It actually has several different distinct dining areas, from areas that are open to the outside to more intimate dining rooms on the inside of the property. And on our right here is one of the cooler features of the Flamingo. It's the outdoor Flamingo Habitat. The Habitat's a great place to get outside, get some sunshine and some fresh air. It is open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily, and it is a non-smoking area, so you truly can get outside and get fresh air. Now the Chilean flamingos that actually are housed here at the Habitat can be hit or miss, but always you've got koi, ducks, and other wildlife and it's just a relaxing place to be. That is, unless it's 115 degrees outside. Heading back inside, you see the Habitat elevators, yet another elevator bank here on property that takes you to the guest rooms. Directly ahead of us, you see what used to be the entrance to the Flamingo's Buffet. The buffet here, as with a lot of other Caesars properties, closed during COVID and has never reopened.
We're headed now toward the Link Promenade entrance. This is at the far north end of the Flamingo property. These doors take you directly out onto the Link Promenade. If you go right, you'll be headed toward the High Roller, and if you go left, you'll be headed right out to the Las Vegas Strip. That pretty much covers the entire Flamingo property. Hey, thanks as always for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough and found it informative. We have many other property walkthroughs in Las Vegas on the channel. Check out the playlist linked in the description below. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any videos in the future. Hey, thanks as always for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one because there's always more for us to show you on Show Me Vegas.